Stream is provided by King Gwen, a place for you to buy games at a discounted rate. Use the code DBP and save an extra 3%. Link down below in the description or in chat. Hello guys, Delta Brower Production. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Flashing Light, part number two of First Look. We're doing the Firefighter edition this time. Uh, last time we did the police, now we're doing the firefighter, and next time we're going to be doing EMS. So, uh, same thing as before, you go in, you pick your character that you want. You could have a nice little hat, or actually a fire hat, and I think fire hat is a better. And we'll go straight into it. So, different missions, different things to do since you'll be a firefighter. And uh, yeah, it's 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 not the same thing, and I'm actually really enjoying the firefighter aspect of this. Not a lot of call outs, but uh, eventually there will be more. So remember, guys, this is uh, alpha game or beta game, if you want to call it. So of course, other options will be coming in soon. So here's your fire department. You're um, you're able to change roles and select the vehicle you want. In the vehicle section, we have uh, a fire department car. We have uh, the nice, I mean nice, fire ladder. We have a bumper, it's nice. We have a SUV, fire department, and uh, yeah, then we go back to the normal. So we'll go with uh, the ladder here. Makes a little more sense. And to access, uh, we have to go to the garage that's right here, and we do have to open the door. So if you have more than one um, person playing, if you're playing this multiplayer, then you have you could set up, you know, four people in here. It's pretty cool. And then you do have. Uh, working doors and if you go in the back we have uh, hoses and rescue so spreader medic bag ladder axe chainsaw and then traffic cones once again and this vehicle is equipped with water it has a thousand liter of water so when that's 1,000 uh, liters out then there's nothing much to do we have a call here Gonna do it. A building fire. We're gonna go for it. Let's spawn this to code three. I'm not going the right way. So this one is a beast. It's hard to turn. So take your time. Oh God. 
I did up the traffic this time to uh, level number 10, and maximum level is 20. So we'll see if there's more traffic. There is more parked cars. I also upped that up. And uh, should have more people walking around also. There is an interior in this vehicle, same thing as uh, the other ones. No! God, don't hit everything. It's not fully uh, implemented, but it looks nice. Coming up to the diner who's on fire. Do we have a fire hydrant? Yeah, we do right here. It's gonna be useful. So first thing you want to do actually is fire and take a water supply hose. Attach that to fire truck. And then you attach it to the fire hydrant. Uh, that way you always have water. And step number two is uh, taking normal hose, water hose, and attaching that here. And technically I think you could put three people out of it so if you do play this multiplayer one truck will be enough and then you aim for it when you go with the water so you aim for it and then as you guys can see there's a little circle telling you that that specific space of the fire is okay I think we're gonna have to go inside. I believe we'll have to go on the roof also. here now now I did put the holes through the hole uh, can we retract the holes or it just keeps on going okay it's one of those holes that keeps on going <laughs> did not know I thought there was like a limit I guess not I'm just gonna unhook that um, and then rehook it we need to go on the roof. To go on the roof, we do have ladders in here. So let's set that up. I'm gonna put that. I'll take. Uh, it's gonna be under rescue and take a ladder up. That is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Pick up. Well, I'm not sure how. Okay, that's good. How do you... Okay, with the middle, middle mouse. And then you're able to click. Okay, okay, it makes sense. Okay, so that should be good. We're going to retake our fire hose. Retouch it and go up here. So it seems like uh, the AC caught on fire here. Just trying to fall off the building and die. I wonder if you can fall off the building and die. No, I don't want to test it, I'm just saying, I'm just, you know. I'm saying it's fact here, I, mean, I don't want to test it and die. So 
so we're almost there. And I believe that one we could get from the bottom. Use ladder. Now it would it would be interesting if in the future we could use the ladder truck and use its ladder. That would be uh, something nice. Now there's a traffic jam here. I don't think you can use a ladder up here. Not yet, but yeah, it would be interesting to have that. So that's a code for people for a uh, building on fire. So heading back to the base. The thing I wish they also did was the second you finish a mission, not give you another one right away. Because, ooh, red light. Because it feels that's what, that's what they're doing. Where the second you finish a mission, right away you have another one. And like in real life, that wouldn't happen. I mean, maybe it would if it was a busy day, but... Let's respond to this one. This one is a tree uh, blocking a road. Never did. I never done this one. Uh, how far out is it? Got to take the highway. So this is a code two response, not an emergency. So we're gonna get there when we get there. Loud turn the red lights here. We are in the United States. The model looks good. I mean, the models of vehicles in this game, they all look good. Didn't really see one that looked not good. Ooh, am I going the right way? Yeah, we're good, we're good. I wish maybe there was a GPS that would show you the line. Of, like, where you have to go. Because you're always going back and forth on your map. But then again, if you play this in multiplayer, then someone could be your co-pilot. And actually tell you where you're going. Skip man in the building. What's up, my friend? We're going to a tree stuck in the road. Non-emergency. Go to. Nothing much with me not working. That's what I'm doing. I'm not working. Got a couple of days off, so I'm happy with that. Play my games. Happy camper and discovering this new game. So So we should arrive here at the tree and we, we are. We are arriving at the tree right here. Zombie 715 welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. We are going to turn on our lights just for safety. If 
anyone comes up behind us, we're actually gonna block a little of traffic here. And you could make this as realistic as you want. We could have some traffic cones block off the area here. My bot let you in just because um, I, I forgot to reset it. So since you're already there before, he knew you're already there. There you go. So we blocked off the area. So we know, you know, no one's going to come here and annoy the crap out of us. Time to take uh, all the chainsaw. Good, close that door and start cutting down the tree. And it says to put it in the grassy, other side of the road or the grass area. Okay, side of the road. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, cool. So there's actually a place where you need to go to cut it. So it's not like you're able to cut it wherever you want. There's pre predetermined places. What's I'm I'm okay with that. Seems to be a little f buggy. You actually have to go like kind of precise on where you want to cut it, but it's fine. There you go. So once you've done your branches, you then do the big trunk. And I think that's it. Oh, this part here. If it will let me, yeah. Okay, now we could pick it up and move it. What's I'm not sure in real life you would actually pick this one up. It's just pretty like huge, but fine. We'll pretend uh, it works. spot here that we forgot is that it that is it the road is cleared so let's go pick up our cone and there'll be a code for people on this call out I mean, the fire trucks looks good with all these flashing lights. I'm I'm hoping there'll be more in-depth control of the lights, where you could you know choose what side and choose what kind of siren and all that stuff you know, like in real life. Let's put that in the trunk. The back is nice and roomy.
We have a container fire. We could go to the container fire. Let's respond to this. Code three. Might take a while. We need to do a little U-turn here. Oh God. Big boat, big boat turning. Pistol Packer in the building. How are you doing, buddy? We're heading to a container fire in the city. Code 3. Without hitting a tree there. You guys saw nothing. So take the highway and we'll be good. Okay. I hit only like two or three. I'm good. Good people. Oh god, I don't know where to go. Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, um, I'm not sure. It's confusing. Maybe this way? No, it's the other way. Jesus Christ. People don't do that in real life, by the way. Don't back up on a highway. You'll get a freaking ticket. But. I'm in fire rescue, I'm allowed. <clears throat> I wish they would do little signs there saying, you know, the city's that way or this is that way. straight in town like this hot and heavy I don't really see more traffic if I put that in 10 I wonder if in 20 is gonna be worse clearing out the intersection here So for this, we're not going to deploy the whole sabang and the whole thing there. We're just going to hook up all the water hose. And, you know, it's not a big fire. We'll have plenty of what's in our vehicle. And there you go, it's already done. Wasn't a big deal. If you look here on the ladder now, on the fire truck, it says there's only 777 liters left of water. So you would need to fill that up. Or, you know. Hmm, interesting, you could unhook directly from there. So that's code four people already done. Lovely, nice. But with a vehicle and incident, we're gonna go respond to that. How far out is it? Oh, it's back on the highway again. So with the vehicle uh, 
uh, incident, there's a driver who's trapped. So we need to use the Jaws of Life. And I'll see you guys how to use that. It's quite interesting. I like the concept of you doing more than just... Sorry. Uh, doing more than just, you know, putting out fires and stuff. Clearing out the intersection. Oh, I guess the highway's that way. It is. Sailai, welcome to the stream. Thank you much for the follow. As we almost hit that car. Oh, god damn it! Almost hit that one. Didn't you freaking hear my sirens, doof? Get out of the highway again. It's gonna be here. Come on, pull, pull, pull over, buddy. Leave me go. Come on. So I like it how it's different now because the ones that I I had to like try and stuff, it wasn't here. So I mean they have a couple different um, places where it, it happens. So that's nice. Dude, where are you where the hell are you going? Freaking car. Okay, the car's lost. The car is lost. Lost cause for the car. We're gonna just deploy some cones here because we seem to have some dumb people. She's going for it, like, the cop's right here. Are you gonna accept that? She's gonna freaking kill me in the end. I've got a feeling about that. Okay, so we're gonna take the toss of life and pretend, you know, that's it's fine with her. They're called spreaders. And you gotta go in here and open up the door. So once that is done, you then need to... Which I, I kind of... That, I kind of find... I can't speak. I find that kind of funny that you have to do this part, but... You have to uh, inspect the pace. So you're kind of doing some EMS also. That's EMS work here right now. You're looking at his uh, his body, trying to figure out if he's uh, hurt or not, and then it says the MS will take over. So is that stupid car still there? It is, and we're done. Let's pick up our traffic cone and let's pretend that she's fine. Hey, Henry, what's up? Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? We do have a call out for a cat. We're going to skip that. Uh, if we pick up our cones here. Put that back in there. And let's get rolling. Gonna put lights and sirens here so I can go back in town. Very good. Heading back. Ooh, like. Heading back in town. No one has died so far on our watch. What are you doing? He's lost. He doesn't know what he's doing. That's yeah, true. We have to go this way.
another vehicle incident. We're just gonna skip those ones that we've done. So I'll try to show you guys uh, different call outs. After all, it is a first look on Firefighter. So we'll go back to uh, the base there and wait for a different call out. There's one for the cat that we haven't done yet. I know there's also another one for another building that we haven't done yet. Tree blocking the road we have. Oops, gotta go this way. Don't hit everything. Oh god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Take take my money. I have the right lane here. Gotta go forward. Get in the right lane. We have a building fire. I believe that's the same one as we did before. The other one, the other one I think it's called a farm house or something fire. Oh, we have a vehicle fire. That's a new one. Let's respond to the vehicle fire. It's like far away in La La Land. Oh, it is far away in La La Land. I believe maybe the city is way too big. <laughs> okay, maybe not. It's not that big, but... It takes a while to get there. We're gonna run, run this first person. Let's run this first person, people. Take the highway here. Then we're going to exit off where we usually exit off. So vehicle fire responding code 3. believe we have to take the other exit here. Let's go look at the map fast fast, yeah. So we're going to take a little right right here. Ooh, my bag's still there. <laughs> Forgot to pick that one up. It's too late now, it's too late now. We're going for a fire. So is the vehicles in this game to actually kind of pull off on the side? And you'll see them jitter a little, but that's because I think they're trying to figure out if they're going left or right. So like in real life, I mean, I guess in real life you diddle a little. But uh, that's fine, that's fine. If you go more to one side, they'll pull on the other side. Even the oncoming uh, vehicles do actually pull off a little, like, so gives you more space to pass. Move! Jesus. Yeah, maybe there is a little more traffic compared to uh, normal settings. Fire hydrant. Oops. I just hit a car. Yeah, we have a problem, by the way. We don't have a fire hydrant. And I honestly don't know if we have enough water for this. This could be interesting, guys. Could be. Be like, yeah, I'll be right back. If we use the bumper, the, the pump uh, truck, we would have more uh, water, of course. 
but we're not using that. So. We might have enough. Pistol packer, come on, my driving is good. Yes. Yeah, we might actually have enough. Uh, we'll have to uh, refill the the truck here with water when we get back uh, at the base. Looks like uh, we are going to have enough. Well, thank God for that. With 129 liters left. Not a lot. Alright, let's head back to town. Fill up a the ladder here. Fire a fire truck. We're gonna go off call right now just for being able to um I wasn't sure if that was uh one way or not. Yeah, we're gonna go off call just for make sure we're able to go back, get some water. We'll go back on call after. Oh don't hit the freak of course. Minus one. So we'll so same thing as um the police side. You have a reputation point and then he tells you there on top left uh, how many fire calls you went on how many rescues uh, there's no reset from what I'm able to look at like it doesn't reset and there's no way of like deleting your profile and starting over again so I think it's like attached to whenever you start your game and you only have like one selected profile I'm sure they'll eventually change that for now it is what it is I wanted to restart a profile for uh, streaming, but that's not happening. Now, what what are those reputation points? What they do? Unknown for now. The, it's just how it is. Will you be able to spend them in the future? Spend them maybe on equipment. Maybe that's how you'll be able to buy a new vehicle or new equipment and stuff. Possibly. Come on, buddy, go. <laughs> Since we're here, we're just gonna pick up my bag here. I think you can. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of left it last time. Surprise, still there. So the mirrors kind of look work right now. They're like low pixel, but they work. Also, our hidden cones. Don't hit them.
gas in here. It's going a little slow. He doesn't know how to drive. Like, what is he doing with his gas? What is that? Oh, don't break! Oh, God. I broke. I break. Oh, that's good. So the interior looks nice. It's going to be nicer when it's fixed and working properly. But it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty decent. Now I wonder, can we park this vehicle, first person, with the ass first? Let's try that, people. I think he's having, like, engine problems. Huh? Yeah, oh god! I was gonna say yeah, and you hit the freaking wall. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that works. That works fine. Cool. Actually, we need to uh, put some water in here. So, we're gonna come up here with a fire hydrant. And I believe all you have to do is attach um, water supply hose, and it's gonna automatically fill. It's like the future things I would like for to see yeah would be um, like you have to open the fire hydrant you have to then come here and like turn it on or something you know press button and stuff to make it work like I would love to see like more in-depth things to do I think it would add to the whole simulation here but so far so good all right let's go back on call here F3, go back on call. Hopefully we'll have a call we haven't responded to first. Also, it looks like there's a hose. Is that a hose? Type kind of? Like a gun? Water gun maybe on top? Container, we fire, we already did that. Looks like there's a container, uh, looks like there's a water gun on top there that you could maybe use in the future. The side lights would be something useful to use, also. A little, like, light up a scene and stuff. So just waiting for another interesting um, call out here. Perhaps the cat one will show up. No, no, no container fire. Come on. Give me the cat one so people can see how to take down a cat. It's funny because for taking down a cat uh, out of a tree, because uh, the cat will be stuck in the tree, you have two options, taking a ladder and go get him or uh, cut down the tree. So... <laughs> Not sure option number two is good, but it's there. Vehicle incident, we already done that. So, um, the stations here, by the way, are now like completely finished. You guys could see that. Did not know you could go up here. Anything interesting up here? Oh, you could go down the pole. Oh, interesting. Did not know you could do that. And there's more parking in the back. Cool. And actually, I also did not know there was doors in the back. Did not notice them. 
so you don't have to back up. You just go through, through and through. That's nice. That's neat. We're going to have that cat call before we end the stream, are we? gonna have it you know when you don't want them they are coming and when you do want them they're not coming it's always like that you could drive by the EMS uh, building there and check it out since we're in here waiting for that special call to come around So by the way, the mods, <clears throat> the mods, the people uh, who's developing this game are not saying that there will be mods that will be able to be done for the game itself, but uh, some people did find some ways of changing the skins of vehicles and such, and the uniforms also to make it a little more realistic. So I'm wondering if that's going to push them in allowing people to mod their game. Cat stuck in a tree. We finally got it, people. That stupid cat took a while to be there, but it's there. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if uh, they're going to let people actually modify it. It would be nice. Or it would also be nice if you would be able to do your own call out Or your own scene or, you know. Be crafty with that. We're responding code 2, by the way, so no lights, no siren. It's only a cat. Like, I love cats, but it's only a cat. Oh, don't hit again. Don't hit the lady. Gonna put my vehicle there to uh, protect myself. If the vehicle hits me, then we're good. We're gonna put some traffic cones, those t trusty traffic cones. gonna get stuck on the other con cone no he actually f kind of moves around it cool nicely done like I like the traffic in here then cool okay so two options says for uh, the cat here stuck in the tree uh, climb the tree with a ladder or cut down the tree we're gonna climb it okay we're we're, we're gonna be good people and climb it so the tree is up here. Uh, 
actually you could go like this on that side and uh, yeah that kind of works now it's a little buggy oh well, maybe less buggy than before no, it's still big. So you, it's like you have to go on top of the tree, catch the, yeah, catch the freaking cat, and then give it to the owner, and the owner will be happy. We rescue cat people. It's done. And like that. So ladies and germs, that'll be it for this first look of this stream and first look of Flashing Lights Firefighter Edition. If you guys like what you see and you're watching the replay, hit that like button, share, and subscribe for more, for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, that'll be it guys for right now or today. And then next time there'll be a part three coming up for EMS, so stay tuned for that. Let's uh, roll those credits. Thank you for all who has uh, has have uh, followed. Good night, Mister Mister Pistol Packer. And uh, stay tuned for more. Until then, take care.